Hey guys, good morning. Big A coming to you from the YMCA. Hope you're doing great. Hope this weekend was amazing. How intentional are you to showing love to those that are closest to you, your family members? A couple of years ago, we started something in our family that's proven to be very, very successful. I've talked about it two or three times on these Facebook lives for, for new people that are just joining us that's belong now to our community. I want to tell you that process again. Each and every year, we start the year out with a month written on a card, and we randomly select a month out of that. There's 10 of us in our family, uh, and we select a month that that is our month. Like, for example, mine is in November, and I selected it out of the deck of cards. We shuffle them up, and everybody gets to pick. So every month, one person is highlighted in our family, and we do things of encouragement. Uh, we'll prepare meals. We'll take them to special places. Uh, their name goes on the calendar, and everybody focuses their attention on that loved one. You know, oftentimes we let the ones that are closest to us go by the wayside. We show favoritism and we show people at the office how much we care about them. And there's extended family members that we pay homage to. And But those that are closest to us, our children, our grandchildren, our spouses, our daughters, our son-in-laws, those get left behind oftentimes. And I can't even begin to tell you how fun this has been for our family. Owen is one of my grandsons, and February is his month. He can't wait for us to show him attention, to write those cards. The fourth Sunday in every month at 6 o'clock p.m., I gather the entire family together. That person gets to pick the restaurant of their choice, and we go and celebrate that person for the entire month. It's like everybody having a birthday twice a year, It's like, but it's for the whole month. So all the grandkids get together, they color pictures, they write words of encouragement, the parents will get together and take them to a special place. It has proven to be very, very fun in our family. It's very intentional. Uh, we're very proactive at paying honor to that person. Well, I don't want you guys to forget those that are closest to you. You know, birthdays and Christmas and things like that are kind of expected. We kind of do that uh, because it's the right thing to do. But when you pay honor to somebody when it's not their birthday or it's not Christmas, uh, it is it takes it to the next level is what I'm trying to say. And I want you guys to pay close attention to those that are around you. So it's simple. Just take something, write the month on a piece of paper, write it on a playing card, put it in a hat, take it to your family. It's not too late. You can start it any time. I'm recording this in February. You can do it any month and just do it for the calendar year. If you only have five people, you know, do it a couple of times. Let them pick out two different months. If you have more than that, just continue it on for 14 months or 16 months. Ever how many people there are in your family. And you watch what happens. They'll get creative. They'll start thinking of things that they can do to reach out to that person and take them places they enjoy, buy them things that they like, color pictures, words of encouragement, lift them up, and you watch what happens. Will you guys go out and crush it today? Hey, that thing in the background you see is the sun, and we've not seen it for a while here in Nashville. I can't wait. I was watching the uh, TV when I was on the treadmill at the Y just now. It says it's going to be 81 degrees in Nashville, Tennessee today. I hope it's warm wherever you're at. Go out there today and crush it. I'm Big A, coming to you live from the Hendersonville YMC. Have a great day. We'll see you.